Yamaha TF series mixers have kept on getting better and better throughout their life. New Quick Pro presets for a wide range of microphones and applications, the Dugan Auto Mixer, extra mute groups, matrix outputs and delays, and a wide range of shortcuts and workflow enhancements have been introduced with each update. And now we have version 4.5. So you can now find a range of presets for Audix mics in the channel library, including settings for vocals, various drum kit components, guitar cabinet, and acoustic piano. Plus, there's an enhancement to the USB audio interface helping your connection to live streaming or teleconference software. And a networking enhancement that allows your computer or iPad to connect for remote control, even from a different subnet. Let me explain more about these two points. First, the network connection. If your mixer is permanently installed in an office or education center, it may be required to connect it to a pre-installed network. And that network may be segmented into multiple subnets, where each portion has a different range of IP addresses. That would have been a problem if you wanted to control the mixer from a location based on a different subnet. But now it's possible. If there is a network router available to bridge between the subnets. It also means the TF mixer can be remote controlled via a VPN through the internet. So technical support staff can check the device from their remote office or home office. Here's what to do. Open the mixer setup menu and select network, which you can find at the bottom of the screen. If the local network uses DHCP, make a note of the IP address shown here. Otherwise, select static IP and enter an IP address that is compatible with the local network, but is unique from all the other devices that share the network. Here you can see it is 10.0.1.3. And the gateway address needs to match that of the router which will connect to the subnet where you'll be running the software, or the VPN if you're truly remote. Here it is 10.0.1.1. Now on your remote controlling computer, when you open TF Editor, first look in the setup menu and check the selected network interface is correct. Then when you click on offline in the connect box, you'll have the option to enter a direct IP address. Because the software will only automatically find the TF mixers within the same subnet. So we need to manually enter the IP address of the mixer we want to control, which is outside of our subnet. Note that our computer has an IP address in the range 192.168.1 which is assigned automatically by DHCP, the mechanism used by most Wi-Fi routers and office networks. So we are indeed in a different subnet. Back in TF Editor, enter the IP address of the mixer, 10.0.1.3. Enter the admin password of the mixer if you need it, then choose the sync direction. Remember, it's safest to go from mixer to PC. Then press connect, and the mixer quickly synchronizes to give you full control of every channel and effect. For iPad control, it is similar to setup. This iPad is in the same subnet as the computer with an IP address of 192.168.1. something. To go online with a mixer in a different subnet, launch the app and the select mixer window appears. Auto will only find mixers in the same subnet, so we need to select manual now. Touch the blue plus icon to enter the IP address of the mixer. Remember in my case it is 10.0.1.3. Enter a name you wish to identify the mixer with. It doesn't need to correspond with any name programmed into the mixer itself. 
touch connect and start mixing. Compared to working within the same subnet, there's only one limitation. The level meters will not work across subnets. They only work within the one subnet. But all your control functions are active so you can check all the settings and remotely support an event that may require some expert assistance from afar. And remember, a maximum of three remote devices can be used to run TF Editor and Stage Mix with any TF Mixer at the same time, regardless of which subnet they are in. Monitor Mix, the iPhone and Android app for the performers to mix their own AUX buses, still only works within the same subnet as the mixer, by the way. And remember, that can run on 10 devices at a time. Now to the USB enhancement. USB is a really convenient way to pass audio between a computer and the mixer, whether for multi-track recording, teleconferencing, or live streaming. When you only need a stereo feed, TF has become much simpler. Open the setup window, select preference, and scroll to the others option, and take a look at the USB 1, 2 output. The default setting is channel 1 and 2 direct, which was perfect for multi-track recording. But now we also have the option of stereo left and right and any mono or stereo paired matrix channel. So whether you want to have the stereo master sending straight out or a matrix with its additional EQ for sound shaping and delay for time aligning. You can simplify the setup with the computer. Most computer software for streaming and teleconferencing will only be able to pick up USB channels one and two. So now you can choose the preferred pair. And of course the computer output can return to the TF mixer on input channels one and two, where the first USB inputs can be patched. Alternatively, use input channels 33 and 34 on a TF3 or TF5, where more channels are available. Remember, you'll need the Yamaha Steinberg USB driver installed on your Windows computer. For Mac OS, it's class compliant, so it'll simply show up in the sound devices as Yamaha TF, and be ready to use with whichever software you require. So that's the rundown of version 4.5. Download the update from Yamaha's website and enhance your remote control and live streaming workflows as soon as you can with Yamaha TF Series consoles and TF Rack. Thank <laughs> you.